Hello Traders, I am excited to bring you guys, and girls, and bots, a new resource on order flow trading uh, and heat maps and liquidity. So what we're going to be looking at today is the platform known as TradingLight.com. And what coin we're looking at right here is Binance BNB USDT. Now the purpose of this video is not going to be looking at every single part of Trading Light. I can do that in another video. We're just going to be looking for and screening for spoof orders and looking for really which way the market is trying to, to move, which way larger players are trying to influence the market to go. Now before we get into those wonders of order flow, if you've seen my previous videos, you probably know what I'm going to say, but if you haven't, I highly recommend you go check out the order, the order flow learning course that I just released on Bookmap. You can click the link in the description and go learn more about taking the course to order flow. So with this, there are a lot of really cool features of Trading Light, but what I have down here is our bids and asks, also known as offers, on the one minute time frame. Now if you want to get the same setup, you go to Script Editor in Trading Light, which is the bottom left, it's where I put my camera portion, and you click Script Editor and then you can find plenty of different um, measures for the bids and the asks in the Script Editor down there, and then go add one of those to your chart. So what I want to look at today is let's look at the impact on spot exchanges. So we're not going to be looking at futures futures exchanges. We're going to be looking at spot exchanges, even though Binance is not exactly spot anymore, and really how spoofing has played out. Because what I found is that it's been pretty reliable with a method that I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys. So first of all, let's look here, the bids and the asks. What happened to the bids here? Well, bidding dropped right here, right? So price rose and then the bids dropped. And what did price do? Price didn't really do anything for a little bit, and then price fell. We can see then bids were added and price stabilized. Then again, price stayed here, price stayed here until we can see price began to fall when the when the bids fell as well. This could have been because the bids were pulled or because the bids were filled. But really, one of the better signs of what I want to talk about today is this kind of spoofing. Where it's just one trader who's probably placing a very large bid and it or offer and it has an impact on price. What do we see here? Well, the market is falling and let's say that you're a big trader and you want to short. Well, if you want to short, you want to short at higher prices. And if you want higher prices, you have the ability to influence the market to go slightly up, to fill an order at higher prices, then spoof the market to go back down to then take profit. So to do that, what ended up happening is we see pretty steady bidding until we get an increase in bidding from about 150K up to 156, 157K. What happened here was price actually rose a bit, and then just as, pr pr as prices had risen enough, you can see that this liquidity was pulled and we fall back to the norm. So spoof on, spoof off, price falls. Then what happens? Well, price falls again and then it's back on. <laughs> I mean, another large bid or series of bids were placed, as you can see from 100, about 150K up to about 159K and then price rose. So really what's going on here is, and how I would trade it, first of all what's going on here is there's probably a large trader on Binance who's, or series of traders who are influencing the market to short term go up or short term go down. Now what I would look for here is if I see this, these bids fall back down to these levels down here, I'd, I'd be reasonably confident the price will fall because spoof, uh, not spoof, it could just be a large limit order. Large limit order is there, and if that large limit order gets gets pulled and I see some market selling, then price will probably fall. So let's go look at Coinbase, a purely spot exchange, and let's go look at XRP for similar kinds of patterns. And oh lord, this is absolutely just beautiful, beautiful spoofing. I mean, if you, if you don't think that this is spoofing, I mean, argue your case, but this is like... <laughs> This is hilarious. Okay, so we get a large bid placed here, guys, right? We have about 5 million bid, and then we go up to 7 million bid in the, in, in the order book, and this tracks the whole order book, and price rises. Cool. And then we can see when that's pulled. Let's go ch check when the bid was pulled, and we go back to norm. Bid was pulled here, and price falls a bit, and then the bid was added, and then price rises. Boom. Then the bid was pulled here. Price falls. So price falls doesn't really do much. It, it increases a bit, and then we can see the bid pulled, bid added, bid pulled, bid added. Probably this actually occurred because someone was trying to fill their order, either long or short, but potentially this is someone trying to go long. And then we can see, you can even see the bids here that are just being used to influence price in the way. This is, this is beautiful, look here. So then we get a large bid added, right guys? Right there, and price rises. But then look at the very second the bid was pulled, right here. 
price makes a top and then goes back down. And now the bid was added and price is probably going to rise. I mean, this is just someone who's just like placing a bid, not place, uh, pulling a bid, you know, just doing what they want because they have the money to do so, to manipulate price like this. And I'll bet you that price rises. So, interesting. Let's go look at other coins. I, I actually haven't done my re research yet on other coins' amount of spoofing too. Um, like uh, Stellar, XLM, USD. You can see kind of the same thing happening. A large bid placed and then pulled, and then placed and then pulled, and you can see kind of similar pattern. Not beautiful there, though, I have to be honest. How about BCH? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Large bid added, right there. Price rises, price rises, price rises, bid pulled, and yeah, price falls down to here. And now nothing's happening. Makes sense. Not a lot of momentum ignition placed on that. How about ES? Okay, first of all, that blinded me. The heat map is, okay, if I wasn't blind before, now I'm blind and all the viewers are blind from using that coloring. Lovely. Okay, so what we see on EOS, and it's kind of hard to see the price because the heat map is kind of obscuring it, but, you know, we'll make do with what we have, guys, and girls and bots, anyone who's watching this. So actually we can see both bids and offers were reduced here, which is interesting, and then bids were added, but I'm not really seeing much of a pattern of spoofing. But I'm looking to see any examples that I can find of offer spoofing, where I see a large offer added, price falls, and then that large offer pulled, and price rises. So that someone probably could just fill their liquidity. Um, BTC USD, am I gonna get, am I gonna get, okay, yeah, just not much. I wanted to avoid Bitcoin because that's a whole other ball game. Not a whole other ball game, but it's, you know, th there's a lot going on with Bitcoin, and it might be harder to to identify spoofing that it is on coins like this. So if we look at, how about we look at patterns of, I'll do link, link USDT, what, what's going on with link? So we see a kind of similar pattern <coughs> where a bid was added here and price rise, and then a bid was pulled and price just reverted. Uh, really not much going on here though. Potentially we see some heavier spoofing. If I zoom out, we can see some better patterns like here. You can see where a large bid was added and pulled. Um, oh, this one. Nah, this one doesn't really tell me much, though. This one was interesting because typically we don't see this kind of pattern, but I do want to show it. What what happened was a large amount of bidding was decreased here, and we would expect the price would probably fall with all the bid decreasing. Price rose a bit, and then a bid was added, and then price just kind of, you know, didn't do much until it fell. This would have been harder to probably interpret. Um, potentially, you'd have to look at market orders as well and not just looking at limit orders, you know? Or maybe Link is just a little bit tougher than something like BNB USDT, where you can just see the spoofs going on and the spoofs going off. This is BNB BTC, uh, Binance Coin traded to Bitcoin. And let's see what BNB USDT is. Yeah, so BNB USDT is just rising after this large bid was placed, as we had talked about before. Now, I actually haven't done this yet, but I want to look at the one hour just to see the changes in bidding and offering. If there's anything interesting going on. Well, not really. I think one minute's more my bread and butter. How about TRX USDT? Is this going to be okay? This one might blind us. Okay, I'm just partially blinded by that. Um, pretty chaotic bidding and offering. I'm not really seeing some clear spoof play. It's really Coinbase. I mean, Binance, it's Binance, you can see it pretty clear on, on BNB, BNB USDT, but it's really Coinbase where you can see just so much, I mean, just XRP USD on, on Coinbase was, was pretty beautiful, just the amount of spoofing. And I'll bet you the price probably is going to rise soon. If we look at actually historical patterns of XRP USD, I mean, th this one's just like, okay, come on, please. But if we look at any historical patterns, if spoofing was ever, was always this prevalent, or at least large limit orders influencing price for a specific reason, which is a similar definition to what spoofing even is. Um, oh yeah, happened here as well. So what, what we see here is a large bid. We have not much bidding here. We're, we're really at a bidding low and an offering low and price falls expectedly. Then we get a, just an increase in bidding. We go from 4 mil to 5.2 mil down to here and that kind of just stabilizes price. But then once part of that bidding is pulled, we can see price falls. Also here, you know, this is not a, a very, very clean pattern either. You know, currently we're seeing a much, much, much cleaner pattern. I mean, this, 
it's just they're they're subsequently pulling the offers and the bid at the same exact time in order to influence price. Maybe they're not trying to influence price, but to me this looks like they are trying to influence price. Especially with with a pattern like this, um, I'm not even going to look at the at the bids and offers down here, but look at actually the heat map. You can see that the, the bids get added here, right? And then, oh, that's beautiful. Bids get added here, and then they completely vanish right here, right before the price drop. So this would have been a, a pretty good time to have shorted on, you can't short on Coinbase XRP USD, of course, but to have shorted on Binance. And to have, to short, a, to short it on Binance or on some other exchange, or even on BitMEX, because right here, this is a kind of pattern we see strong bidding, but price is not respecting the bidding. And because price is not respecting the bidding, um, it gets canceled, and then this guy got canceled too, which is even more, you know, bearish. So this is an interesting pattern here. I think we can see probably similar patterns of just a large bid or a large offer propping price in one direction, and then when that gets pulled, price moves in that direction. You know, it would be a similar pattern if price was just touching this consistently, then price would probably fall. All right, I'm going to end this video on, let's end the video, bit stamp. Oh, Bitstamp XRP USD. Are you? Do you have as much spoofing? Okay, you're not doing anything fun. Bitstamp. Um, how about LTC? How about good old Litecoin? Okay, what was this? We go from nine thousand four hundred forty LTC down to what six thousand? What? Okay, that is interesting. Look at this, guys. All the bids just get reduced or filled, but probably reduced here. Yeah, that looks to be reduced because volume isn't that high. All the bids get reduced then right when they get added, yeah, price rises. So that's potentially another, oh, I am not going to let that one go unnoticed. Look, what what are the offers doing? My lord. LTC on, on, on um, Bitstamp, do you see this? We just went from 6.7K uh, worth of LTC to 8.1. Is price going to fall? Because what is, all these offers are just getting very, very strong. Is price going to fall soon? That'll be interesting. Keep an eye on, oh, now you're back to normal. Now you're not. So someone is definitely just placing a large limit sell on LTC, pulling it, placing a large limit sell on LTC, pulling it, and then just going to continue doing that. Um, okay, so like I had said, I am going to end my video on one of my favorite coins, which is BNB USDT, just to look at the heat map. Yeah, the heat map here is aggregated in a bit of a weird way. So it, it's it's not really single levels. I think it's grouping of levels by 0.05 by the looks of it, 0.05 uh, in, in price. So you can't really see what I had showed before because of that lack of really detail. Uh, you can see a bit of it though. But it's just beautiful just to scroll back in time on the one minute, ch okay, one minute chart and see things like this. This is what I'm talking about. Jeez, this spoofing. Look at this. We go from 160k up to a high of 187k. That's a pretty high percent increase. So we see all these bids added, but price isn't doing much. And then bids pulled and price just tanks. Are you not telling me that someone had sold here, had put these bids on to make the market stay or make the market rise, then sell and then pull the bids and then price falls? And price fell from about 14 point, let's just call that 14.4 to round it, down to a low of about 14.1 which is a decrease of a few percent. So if you had shorted here with a, a few hundred thousand dollars, then you could have made a decent amount. But just all of these spoofs, my gosh, just, this is the beauty and the monstrosity that is the cryptocurrency market. <laughs> it's the amount of spoofing. Now, if you're, if you're not comfortable with a market that has this amount of market manipulation, then don't use it. Um, but if you, really take the time to look at the market manipulation when large get bids get added then they get subsequently pulled and then price falls then you can make some money by actually noticing the intentions of these larger players on these altcoins with that happy trading hope this was helpful and i'll see you guys next time